And we're ready. On the left-hand side is a post by Music Theory for Guitar about a Baroque sequence that says, when the bass of the exercise goes down by a third, then goes up by a step repeatedly. On the right-hand side is a Musecore score where the top notes are going down by three, up, down by three, and up. And they sound like this. Also on the left-hand side is a concept diagram and on the right-hand side is the concept diagram in a music animation, which opens like this. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in New Realms, Episode 11, Intuit, Castle, Memories, Cycles, Void. In this episode, we re-entered by reflecting it might be nice to do a standalone episode, a standalone piece. Um, and the Baroque Recipe series, which is what we alluded to a minute ago from Music Theory for Guitar, go down a three, come up a one, down a three, up a one, is kind of an etude or school study about chords and leading notes. Um, so we're going to play that for you. But we also spent time animating the concept image, which we showed you, which developed further a visual image composing school skills. So starting with the piece of music, we made what we called the Baroque Recipe 1 score, which is this. And the highlight of this is that the top notes of this it's an E, it's a G flat, E flat, and then to the E. So, da, 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 da. Actually, it started this way. From here, that's a minus three and a plus one. But we, for aesthetic reasons, we started over here. So we did that all the way through in a chromatic sequence, and um, and we'll play that for you. So there are a couple things we like about this piece. We're continuing the idea of music as cloth. So we've got the fabric of the cadence, we've got the embroidered thread of the what we call the meta backbone, and we've got the ornamentation of the, the triplet roll snare drum. And also we're continuing to use MuseScore 4's ability to honor a slowing down, a ritardando tempo, and the crescendo and decrescendo softening of the sound. So we liked all that. It had a lot of nice musical nuance in it. Uh, we also made Baroque Recipes 2 and 3, which we'll feature later, uh, where we... Uh, where are they? Here. Uh, Sub-selected, instead of just a pure chromatic, we've, we're using uh, another kind of pleasing patterns. Um, in doing Baroque 1, we experimented with the Ableton app and made a live set file, exported the MIDI to it. And so, and we learned how to do a slow, a gradual slowdown in Ableton. Um, but it was kind of a weird sounding on some of their patches. And then uh, we were trying to do a softening of the loudness, and it worked on some of the lines, but not in the others. So we filed a few notices to uh, to the developers about that. <clears throat> and then we also experimented further with avatars for streaming. These are all under categories of uh, cross-dimensional app skills. So uh, in a previous episode, we showed you how we used um, a little avatar that hovers instead of a webcam. So we found a second way to do that, which is still being worked on. But the fun thing for us 
was to take that music and take this concept image, which we call already forwarding. And the concept image is here we are in the center, this little instantaneous now point of being. And on the left-hand side is the past, and on the right-hand side is the future, quote-unquote. And so um, on the one hand, people say the best prediction of the future is what's already happened in the past. But we all know that that's a great prediction until it changes. So that's why the right-hand side is in a dotted line. Um, nevertheless, there's kind of a pleasing uh, symmet symmetry to it. But also, there's an image here, a, a visual pun. Fording means to cross a river. And so the center is in the hourglass shape is in a sense a river that we're halfway across and we're moving forward this year into new realms continuing composing in new realms using what we've learned and accomplished in the past uh, using it to inform what we're going to do in the future but we know very well that it's going to look different when we get there so we wanted to animate that concept and so uh, we used our magic music animator to do that. And so now we're going to play this for you, which will bring us home. There are a couple things that we like about this animation. Uh, we like ending on what we call a composite image. So in the girl in the wicker red dress, we started the idea of making separate paneled images and sequencing through them, and we did that here. The difference is this time the image that, that we seek through well, paneled through. It's more complex. As you can see here in the background, our tracing image was uh, there, but we had to make a left arc, a right arc with dashes, a left line, a left instantaneous point of existence, and, a, and each of these uh, became separate animation pieces. So just like in our music, we use the uh, sweep synthesizer part to animate the right-hand side. We use the drum to animate the left-hand side. So the drum sounded like, uh, if I could select it. Yeah, if I could select it, I would. So we use that as a separate driver for an animation versus this. So just as we had parts of the music, the aural input, uh, separately represented in here, we had the uh, the lines separately represented. For example, for example, somewhere, somewhere to show you this. Yeah, each one of these lines, you see the left line, the left arc, the left center, the right center, is being fed through its own anim animation chain to get to the right-hand side. And if we turn any one of the, these off, uh, you can see they, they are separately being visually animated. So just like we have part uh, aural part animation, now we're having a visual part animation, which is kind of cool. So we kind of like that. So our ideas for next time are to continue the Broke Recipe series. We have scores two and three to extend and develop and continue our etudes. We've got some more melodies we're thinking about working with um, and to be determined. Shout outs to Silent Lurker, Patient Developer, Aesthetic Nuancer who came by, especially today, and Raw Visceral that kind of fed us that concept image. Tune in next time to see what happens. Do take care. Do come back and do keep on streaming. <laughs>